Hello again, everybody. This is Jim here on Educator.com, Lessons on WordPress. And today we're going to talk about links. And let's dive right in and look at the overview. We're going to talk about the purpose of links and how to create and edit them, as well as the links page on the, the nav bar to the left. So what I'd like for you to all do is if you have a Word, well, actually, you should have a WordPress account, so I shouldn't have to ask. Go ahead and log into your WordPress account follow along. Very important that you do so, so you can understand clearly what I have to say. So obviously, if you had created websites or if you've navigated websites, you know what links are. Uh, links, I'm just going to type, write it over here. Links, it basically connects one page to another or it connects one page or one site to another. That's it. And WordPress, of course, uh, now that it's becoming the world's uh, most popular content management system, allows for linking between sites, between blogs, between information, which is really make it attractive to a lot of people who are not web, web designers. At any rate, uh, that is what the purpose of a link is. Uh, and of course, you have several different options. You have uh, links that can maybe basically open to a new window. Okay, we're, we're going to talk. Did I spell window wrong? Okay, sorry, LA traffic, it does that to your brain. Okay, new window, uh, or it can basically uh, take over the entire page. Okay, so I'm just going to put entire page. I'll type take over. Okay, so it can open up a new page and take over the existing page, whatever the case may be. Uh, we are going to talk about links in more detail later on when we uh, go over some special functionalities such as pop-up windows, things like that. That's going to require a little bit extra programming. However, we're going to try to keep things simple here. We're just talking about the right side and we're going to stick to that. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to toggle back and forth between these slides and the web browsers so that you can better understand. So we're going to talk about creating a link and how to edit them. So let's start with creating a link. Okay, we're gonna, that's the subject here. And as you can see, this is a sample of the side of the, actually, there's a list of my posts. So if I open up a browser, okay, here it is. And here's a dashboard. So we'll start off at the dashboard. Some of you may or may not be here. And as you can see, uh, we can click on the post or you can go to post on the right side, on the left side. Sorry, a uh, little uh, mishap there. So post to the left side and then click on all posts. Or if you want to add a new post, you can do that as well. But I want to show you basically uh, if I was to take an existing post, let's talk about the importance of scheduling. Yeah, scheduling, very important for business. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the size a little bit so you can better see. There you go. And sorry, uh, we're kind of restricted here because I know that things look a little squished here. But so here is my post on the importance of scheduling. And whoa, that did not happen, did it? Let's do it again. Undo that. By the way, if you press uh, Control V on your keyboard, you can undo a mishap. <laughs> and I think, uh, no, I'm sorry, Control Z, Z, as in zebra. So Control Z, you can undo a, uh, a mishap like I just happened over here in WordPress. So Control Z, or if you have a Macintosh, Command Z, will, you can undo that in WordPress, which is really nice. Okay. Okay, getting back on track here. So I've got a lot of words here. I've got a single image here. And so let's say I want to link to this website over here, uh, Web Tips TV. I'm going to go ahead and bold it and because I want to make sure it's emphasized. And maybe I'll even italicize it, okay? And this is font control. We talked about that earlier. Now I want to add a link. So I want to add a link from this blog to webtipstv.com. So what I will do then is first, first and foremost, and I'm going to go back to the slides here. As you can see, when you scroll over, you have the option of editing this item. It'll ask you to do that. Okay. And so if I move over to 